So patients who have uh, COPD, uh, they could have emphysema, which is uh, damage of the lung tissue with, uh, and they get um, like holes in the lungs be because of this damage. And they, are, they have problems breathing and, and their quality of life is poor because of this. Now chronic bronchitis patients, that, that is also part of the COPD group. And that means chronic inflammations of the airways. And also a third group is a combination of emphysema and chronic bronchitis. So, um, so I'll start again. So those patients with advanced emphysema that have these holes in the lungs, uh, those holes interfere with the oxygen, with the availability of the oxygen to go into the bloodstream and, and the CO2 to get out of your body. So that's one of the, the reasons they have difficulty breathing. But the other reason is that these lungs with people with advanced emphysema, because of these holes, they are very big. So they increased in size. So that uh, interferes with the patient uh, taking a big breath because the lungs are already too big in the chest cavity, so they cannot take a deep breath. That's why we need to reduce the volume, so shrink that part of the lung that has the most emphysema. So, so patients who have advanced emphysema, uh, we can, and that are on full medical treatment, and still their breathing is not good, we can provide a minimally invasive treatment uh, which is called endoscopic lung volume reduction. And what we do is we place uh, endobronchial valves bronchoscopically. So this is not a surgery, this is a procedure. So the patient is under anesthesia and we go down with a small scope through the mouth into the lungs and we go to the place that we have already pre-selected that has the most uh, damaged. And over there we place a very tiny valves uh, that are one-way valves. That means that they do not allow air to go into that part of the lung, but it will allow air to get out of that part of the lung. So with time, that part of the lung that has the most emphysema will get deflated, will get shrinked, and that will allow the rest of the lung with less emphysema to have more space to expand and function, and the people will achieve a better breathing and, and a better quality of life. So the benefit of shrinking the lung for the patient is uh, to improve their breathing so they will be able to take bigger, bigger breath, and also they will be able to need less oxygen if they are already on oxygen or maybe come off oxygen. Uh, this treatment does not cure emphysema. So what it does is improve the quality of life of this patient by improving their breathing. So uh, in the past, uh, surgical lung volume reduction was the only options for this patient to achieve this lung volume reduction. But now, uh, with endoscopic lung volume reduction, we can uh, increase the range of uh, patients that are eligible to this type of procedure and with less morbidity.